In front of me is a blue Vivo OnePlus from 2019 and today I will show you how to bypass the Google verification screen on this phone. So as you will see right now, this device is locked and number one I have the verify pattern or I can use the Google account which uh, we're assuming that we don't know both of them. So to begin, you want to number one connect to Wi-Fi which uh, to see the screen you should already be. Um, as you will also see I already am, wherever that is, just try to find where it shows the network connection. I mean, just the fact that you could see uh, the verification, it means that I'm connected. So make sure you are as well. And then you want to go back to the first page like so, then tap on start, skip. And where you see this about your privacy, I'm going to tap on the blue text privacy settings right here, and then use blue's privacy policy. And here at the top, second option is privacy policy, so tap on that and it opens up this nice wall of text, which we can actually select the text. So you want to hold it till it gets selected and gives you a couple options. Now we're interested in the sharing option because that opens up additional options. So once you tap on share, you'll see Gmail. Now you don't want to tap on it, you want to hold it and that will bring up more options. So hold Gmail and then open up info. From here, let's go into app notifications and then additional settings in the app and from here tap on the three dots right here and go into help and feedback wait for it to load and disregard the fact that i already have something open the thing you should see like that you should see this screen basically so in here you want to type in use morse code or just morse um, O R, and it shows up at the top use morse code so tap on that and then you will see the video now tap on the video and it will open up this, or, or try to load it, I'm not sure what it's doing, but it gives you these three dots. So tap on it, and now you will see the watch later option, so tap on it. It will bring you up to YouTube, and then immediately switch to uh, Chrome. So then you want to accept uh, the first button, accept the terms and service, and then you don't really want to log in, so tap on no thanks. And in the search bar, we're gonna navigate into hardreset.info website. like so let's go and from here you want to tap on the three bars right here and go into download section and then in a, in a download field you want to search for android 8 like so and let's search for it and there it is, so FRP Bypass, I tap, tap on the download, scroll down and once more tap on the download, continue, allow, and download. Just tap on OK, and you can see that it has downloaded. Now if you have some kind of problem that it never wants to finish, uh, which sometimes for some reason happens, um, not sure if this device will be prone to this, but if you have this problem where uh, you go to, for instance, the downloads uh, right here. Did I just tap on that? No, I tap on history. Um, let's go to downloads. There we go. And as you can see, this is the file that it has downloaded, but sometimes it will be showing that it's 100% and it never wants to finish. So if that is the case, just tap on it and cancel the download and go back to it. And instead of tapping on this download button, you want to hold it and then open an incognito tab and this will download it no problem. So once we got that sorted, you can open it up. So once it pops up on the bottom, you can tap on open or if you missed it and it disappeared, you can go into the downloads folder and tap it from here and it will be the same outcome. So to install it, we need to go into settings and allow unknown sources. So enable that and now we can install it. Give it a moment. And once it installed, you want to open it. There we go. And we're now in the app. So number one, we're, we'll go into Google Account Manager APK install and choose for version 6.0. And again, go into settings and allow this, go back and install, just as we did in a previous step. And once it's finished as it is, just tap on done. And it takes you back to the app from where we can tap on bypass FRP. Then choose browser sign in. 
and then tap on the three dots and again choose browser sign in. Tap on OK to confirm it, give it a moment, and there we go. So now we can log into Google with your account that you want to use. Now, if you don't have an account, you can always create one. Uh, now I'll advise to do it on a computer. It will be much easier than actually going through here. I'm not sure how well it would work on a locked device to create an account from here. Uh, you can always try it. But like I said, I advise it to do it on the computer. And once you have the account, you can then just use it to log in. Now I'm gonna be using mine as you can see. So just tap on next and I'm gonna put in the password for it. So I'll be only putting the good password. Um, there we go, I think that's it. Yeah, there we go. So you can see that it's signing in right now. And once it's finished, it takes you straight back to the app, but we're basically finished here. So hold the power key and select reboot. And yep, reboot once more. And what this app did is basically added the account that we have just signed in with to the one that it thinks was the previous account. So once we go through the setup, this time instead of verifying, it will tell us that account has been added and provides the uh, email address for the account that well, we have provided right now, which we'll, we'll see in a second. Okay, so let's just skip through this. Now, it, how you set up the device now doesn't really matter. You just want to skip through most of this anyway to gain access to the home screen uh, where we will perform another reset of the device to remove, well, literally everything this time. And that includes also the old account. So just skip through the setup as fast as you can. You don't want to set up anything. And here it is, account added and provides the email address that we have provided right before the reset of the device. So from here, I'll just tap on next. And skip this. Not now, skip anyway. Continue, no thanks. I'll accept, there we go, no thanks again. And there we go. So we're now on the home screen. And from here, we want to go into settings. Let it just actually load, there we go. So let's go straight up to settings and finish this up. So I'm gonna go into system, then reset options and erase all data, factor reset. And this gives you a message what it will remove. It also shows you that it will remove the account that we have added. What it doesn't show is the previous account that it will also remove. Um, so I just tap on the reset phone, erase everything. And once the device is fully reset, you can set it up as however you like. It will be fully unlocked at that point. So I'll be back once the process is actually finished. And as you can see, process is now finished, so you can set up your 
device. Now I'm gonna go through it fairly quickly um, just to save up on time but you will be able to see that everything is unlocked now. So first thing that you will see uh, which is the key difference is the fact that we can now skip Wi-Fi connection which normally you wouldn't be able to do if you would need to verify your account. Just up on next again, next. Skip this. Not now. And as you can see, we're now back in the home screen. There is no need to sign into anything. Everything could be skipped and just set up as you would normally do. So that is how you would bypass this device. And if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.